like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... What was it? The Life Seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off.
Virginia King, Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth shattering power, was found. That's as good a place as any to study them.
that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Sasurians. To think these ruins have existed here for so long, that they predate any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders as they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is going to want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. <laughs>
Just what are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over? They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> Such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But, I suppose, it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. to me that the natives of the valley worshipped the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. According to my interpretations, 
Once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed Life Seed, said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. of this valley's inhabitants continues to elude me. They seem to have coexisted with the mysterious forest sprite. I find loose hints of Mesoamerican civilization, such as the Olmec, with their renowned colossal headstone sculptures dating back to 900 BC. Strangely, though, the Olmec civilization was much younger and located no less than 5,000 kilometers away from here.
playful little sprites of this valley, which I've come to call daemons, are so lively. I've done my best to study their behaviors, but without a zoologist on site, I'm mostly coming up dry. They're completely harmless, so the army tends to ignore them as they go about their research. I wonder if the world would clamor to have these daemons as pets. I'm sure my mother could use one. Better than all those feral cats in her backyard anyways.
According to legend, the life seed is said to be a bringer of death on a global scale, splintering the earth into fragments. Such end time scenarios are common across mythologies, from the apocalypse to Ragnarok. However, it's unusual for the event to surround a particular object, especially one acquired by mortals.
take hold so far north. The land here isn't arable, yet the population that lived here was clearly sedentary in nature. This leads me to believe this place was used as a sacred ground. Are these monuments to the mythical cannibal giants of native lore? The Saiteka? should allow a Pathfinder to jump twice in sequence through the air, increasing the height and distance of their leap drastically. Report any defects to a commanding officer immediately. excited when I discovered there was one found in the valley. Apparently the military was just as excited as they immediately confiscated it to study at the Soma facility on the mountaintop. They won't let me anywhere near it. Thank <laughs> you. 
there's one thing I could do without in this valley, it's those damn Amrita swarms that seem to infect this place. They aren't so bad when they're calm, but when they're starved of Amrita energy, they become incredibly aggressive, sending waves of drones toward intruders in suicidal attacks. They seem to be becoming angrier the longer we're here. Thank <laughs> you. 